Okay, so I've got all the bits ready to do the uh, uh, confuse.com um, robot build for the remote speech uh, playback. Um, I've put on a breadboard to make sure it works first, and uh, I've got the little battery um, connected up. You can just plug it in. And at the moment, it's just switching the relay on and off um, once every half a second. Um, so if I turn that around, you can see the green light flashing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto the variable board, including some little headers so I can actually power it, um, so I can just unplug things uh, rather than having everything soldered onto the variable board. I'm going to have a switch which switches the uh, Arduino on and off, which will probably end up switching on the uh, confuse.com robots um, little circuit as well, so you don't have to arrive out to turn both switches on at once. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to start dismantling the breadboard version and put it onto the, uh, onto the variable board. So the first thing I'm going to do is take everything here apart. Um, I've got the battery disconnected, so I can just pull everything apart, really, and then uh, start building it onto the onto the Vera board instead. Now I've got the circuit that I need to use to switch the relay on and off. Um, uses a diode, a resistor, and a transistor. Even though those three components are actually on the relay board, um, they they don't seem to actually work properly on there. Um, I might look into it one day, but there is definitely a diode, a resistor, oh, there's three resistors on there by looks of things, and a, a transistor on there as well. So I'll move that out of the way for now. First thing I want to do is um, actually put the, the pin headers on for, the, for the, the SP. So if I pull that out of there, we can work out how many pins I need. Cut that off. About there. Okay, there we've obviously, obviously lose one when we do that, but that's how it is with these. But it makes it so I can actually unplug it again if I want to reuse it sometime. Because if you solder them into these into a variable board, there's no way you'll get it out again, pretty much. Um, so we cut that one off about there. Lost another pin there, that's good. Right. So now I've got this size variable board. Now if I put this in this way around, probably put quite a bit of space around it so I can put the components on that I need. Um, now this is going to go into the robot. So I've already got this apart still. Now there's there's plenty of room inside there to slot that in. So if I leave four pins each side, it, it will slide in still. Obviously that's the smallest gap. Um, if I leave four pins each side, the, the, de the depth of it will be fine. Um, yeah, that should do fine. Now this is going to be powered off a, a battery, so I won't actually need a, a regulator on here. So I can just go straight for the powering the um, ESP just just from the from the battery with one of these little headers. So what we'll probably do is actually end up putting that in there like that. We've got the three pins. So you've got the um, the supply, the ground, and a reset, which I could also use uh, if I need to reset it at any time without having to turn the power off and on, which I can do if I want to. So I could actually just use that, and I'll actually change the um, colours of the wires around on this. Or actually, if I turn it that way around. Yeah, it's still going to be wrong. So what I'll do is I'll change the colours of the wires, the order of the wires in there, so at least it lines up with the right colours um, for V in, ground and reset is uh, probably the yellow one. So I'll start off by soldering that in. If I get something underneath there, that'll hold it up. Uh, what we got? I can use that. No, it's too tall. Let's use my solder sucker. I'll do the right thing. There we go. Anything to hold that up in the air? Slightly, there we go. We'll get these, get each end done first, one in each corner, we'll hold it in. And then, <coughs> so that I don't forget, if I can find it, oh, there it is. So I don't forget later, 
I will actually cut the tracks now because I know last time I didn't do that until later on and I'd actually forgotten to do it so I'll do it right away no chance of any problems later on so I'll get this done and I'll get all the um, the other pins soldered in and we'll start on the actual circuit okay that's all those done um, yeah actually quite neat if I bring them up to the camera there it's not too bad a job actually um, I didn't rush it I just did it one at a time and got them done right so next thing to do is I want to put this header on now what I'll do is I'll put it in that way around I'm going to need to bring some wires up from the ground and the V in up to this end but I'll do that underneath the actual device rather than actually trying to do it between there and between there and the, the header so if I solder that in next um, just get a bit of solder on the top of it we'll get something to sit it on there we go sit it on there it's always something around no excuse me pliers hopefully I can get that to sit there So I can hold it down with my hand. There we go. I've just got one of them done. You can actually make sure it's quite flat. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get the other two done. There we go. Right, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of these little fan plugs. And they're actually all completely in the wrong place. So I'm going to have to change them. Unless I've already done this one. Let's have a look at this one. No, that one's really that's still wrong as well. So I'll get a little screwdriver. Um, no, that's not small enough. Um, yeah, that one might do. No, that's too big as well. Find a little screwdriver and um, get this sorted, and then uh, change the wires over. All right, got a little screwdriver there. It's hiding in my toolbox. So what I'll do is I'll you push the little pin down like that. Hopefully, if we get it in the right end, there we go. And that should just pull out. Give it a bit of a tug. Yep, there it is. This is a little spring, almost a little bit of spring metal that keeps it in. Let's get that red one out next. Let's see if it comes out. No, not quite. The screwdriver is not quite small enough to push in the little bit of springy metal there, but let's try again. Okay, if you push. Yep, that one come out. And the last one. Right, so what I'll do is to find out which one. So, find out which one's which. So, N1 will be red now. Yeah, and that's still, well, it was still quite tough in there. So, but once it's pushed in, it'll, it'll never come out again anyway, because it's, it's got friction inside. That's the next one. As I say, I'll leave the yellow one in there just in case I want to use the reset on the Arduino. I will actually push that one back out. That one seems very loose, actually. Yeah, that should do it. You can actually see it slightly pointing upwards. Yeah, that's much better. Right, so that'd be the power. And then like that, in the right order. And then the next thing we want to do is I was using uh, D2 in the code, so I'll carry on using that. And that's actually a GPIO 
four by the looks of things on the on this Arduino. Um, and what I'll do is start putting the rest of the circuitry on because uh, I'm going to have to put the another fan header up here. That's what I'm going to do to control the the relay, which is uh, three pins. Two of them obviously are going to be grounded and um, ground and live. So I'll just bring them up and put put them on to the two pins, and then the third pin will be the uh, the switch, the switch um, ground, which turns the relay on and off. So I'll get that one soldered in as well. Uh, might as well put it on the edge because then it keeps everything at its edge. And then uh, move over to putting the transistor and the diode and the resistor on. If I can get that to stay in there. Yep, that's sturdy already. Let's uh, get the other two done as well. That's getting the first one done properly. There we go. Right. So I've done this cable. So I need to do the same to this one. Although it doesn't really matter because what I can do is actually bring the, the cables so I can actually, it's the opposite way around. I mean, it's it's completely different. You know, n None of the pins are in the same place. So I might as well just leave it like that, to be honest, and then just power the, just connect that to the relay. Um, so what I'll do is put the supply in the middle ground at the end and the switch one on the yellow and just connect that up like that really so I'll get that done now at least the uh, the supply and the, the ground are quite straightforward anyway because they can just be brought off straight off the battery um, the switch is going to go in the in this cable um, off the battery so I'm not going to bother putting another one of these little fan headers on there for the switch because uh, I might as well just leave that in the wire so the next thing I'll do then is connect the the live and the ground up. Right, so the middle pin is the uh, the live, so um, I'll actually take this down the outside because there is actually one row of holes there, so I can actually bring that straight down and get that into that hole there. Let me have a quick look to see if there's a yeah, there'll be enough space there to get that through. So I'll bring that down there like that. Start off by soldering that in. Then the other end, we cut that obviously a bit longer than we need to. Might as well take it down to about, I don't know, there somewhere. If I get my wire strippers, yeah, they look okay. I'll just judge it, it's probably around about there. Give it a twist. Bend it over, and hopefully, yeah, it's a little bit too long. So we'll go a bit shorter. Bend it over. Need pliers to push that in through the hole. There we go. What we'll do is I'll pull it through, bend it over, 
I'm actually cut the end off because it's actually sticking up a little bit there. That's good. Right, that's the supply lead done. I'm just going to check that that's the supply cable. Let's see some of those wires. Yep, that's right. And the next one's going to be ground. Now, I'll do the same with that. So I'll do the same with that and I'll actually go down the inside of the uh, ESP this time. Making sure that I'm actually using the right pin. Yeah, that's right. I haven't just pulled that cable back out. Yes, I did. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go, that'll do the job. Now we take this out. Can run that down to where the earth is, where the ground is on the ESP, which is actually the next pin up. So again, we'll cut the wire too long, like that. And strip the wire back. Probably need to do a bit more than that. Let's try now. Yep, that should be it. Give it a twist. And that should be it. Right, so that'd be the the supply to the um, the relay. Now it's actually a five volt relay, but and the uh, the battery is three point seven volts. Um, but it does seem to work on that. I did try it, and uh, it certainly did switch on and off quite well. Um, whether when the um, the voltage drops much lower when the lipo starts running out, it will it will probably stop working. But if it does that, I have actually got another battery type thing. Uh, which is actually, let me get it, I'll show you. Let's get that soldered. Is that the right hole? No, that wasn't the right hole. Get it right about there, that's it. It's uh, this one. So I actually got a couple of these off of eBay. <coughs> um, obviously, this will give you six volts because it's got uh, four 1.5s in it. Um, but then I'd have to use a voltage regulator to drop that down to 3.3. Um, which is an option. I mean, there's certainly going to be enough room on here to do that if I need to, or I could put it on another board. Uh, probably would have to actually now that I've soldered all this on. But it seems to work with the 3.7 volt single cell uh, LiPo. So the next thing to do then is to actually get the transistor, resistor and diode into the right places. Move some of this other stuff out of the way. There we go. Right, so I'll figure out where they're going to go and start fitting them in. Okay, I've worked out where all the components need to go. Um, I did that off camera because I'm reading it from a diagram and um, it's quite boring to watch. <laughs> well, there's nothing to watch, it was just me figuring out where they go. So um, if we put the diode in, in there. Um, it's the right way around and it's between the uh, VCC and the uh, switched uh, cable for the for the relay so that's in the right place so we'll get that soldered in first and then there's a few track there's a track I need to cut uh, I worked out and then um, just the transistor and the resistor to go in We'll get that one soldered in. Now 
and this is always the thing you get it get it working on a breadboard quite easily because obviously the breadboard pins you know you can just put them all in and they all just line up and everything but obviously when you do it on a variable like this you have to figure out the actual circuit a bit more thoroughly because if you make a mistake you can't just well you can just unsolder it and take it out but um it's not the same with the breadboard obviously with prototyping but so that's that can go there now that's the track that I need to cut so if I actually cut that right away which is that one <laughs> I do get rid of some of that mess onto the floor <laughs> get the transistor in the right way that's it so it's actually the middle pen that's the one so then you've got ground coming onto there uh, nothing onto the middle pin because that's actually through the resistor to the um, GPIO pin and then the third one goes to the diode which also goes to the switch that's right so we get those three in there like that put those two that way and this one this way there we go Obviously it's quite tall underneath there. There we go, get the battery underneath there, that'll hold it up. Now I've got one of the pins soldered. That'll keep it still. And get the other two done. Like that. Yep. And then the resistor goes from the middle pin to what will be a GPIO output. So I'll bring up GPIO 4 uh, up to there with another piece of wire to the center pin of the transistor. And that should be pretty much it. Then all I need to do is then connect up the relay to the little fan header wires. Same with the the battery. And we should be pretty much done. Like that. Another piece of there you go, piece of blue wire. That will do the job. Strip the ends off. Now then, which pin am I going to be using? D2, which is the third one down. That's right. So if we go third one down, one, two, three, we'll take it from there. One end done. Bend it over. And cut it quite long. And then hopefully I can get this without actually pulling all of the blue. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I need a little bit more off. It's actually moved down a bit, so let's get those pliers in there, get that back up again. The blue plastic's actually moved away a bit there. Let's see if that's going to be long enough. No, a little bit, little bit more off there. That did cut it, but whether it's going to pull the whole thing off. No, we should be good. But again, it has moved it down the wire a bit. But if I push that back, I'll at least cover it up and keep it neat and tidy looking. There we go. If I now bend that down through that hole. Bend 
äh, over cut it off. Hopefully, that's about all I need to be doing on the board. Yeah, that looks about right. Now I've cut all the tracks, so nothing should short out. Now then, the battery, I've got this set up at the moment, so what I'll do is I'll actually push that one onto there, that one onto there for now. Connect that up. Well, actually no, we'll put the Arduino in first. And a blue light should flicker just once when I plug it in. Let's see. No reason why it shouldn't. I didn't see it flicker. Now let's try it again. Yeah, it did. And it flickered. So at least the Arduino is coming on. And then the next step, if I get the relay, I'll take all these extra pins off, wires off. We've got supply, we've got earth, ground one in there like that, and then the, the switched, get them all pushed on there, it's quite neat. Now then, it's an either worker, it won't, if it doesn't, it's going to need some looking into. Ah, there we go, working great. See, I've got faith in my own work somewhere. <laughs> so that's completely standalone battery. And the Arduino switching the relay on and off once a second, or once every half a second. So I'll carry on with this and uh, do the rest in another video, because this one's getting quite long now. So if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe to watch uh, any future videos.